Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not really my jungle. It's kind of part of my jungle. It's a little bit too bright for you to <laughs> really see it behind me, but I'm sitting in my living room. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So I'm sitting in my living room today because I thought it would be a nice change of scenery. I'm here by myself this weekend, so there's no one around, just me and the cats. And I thought it would be fun to repot some stuff with you guys and tell you all of the reasons why you need to a pot or repot your Ethereum. So I got a lot of questions from you guys about when you should upsize your pot that your anthurium are in. So in case you missed my last anthurium care video, I'll leave it linked up here for you. It is just a comprehensive anthurium 101, everything that you need to know, the basics for caring for these plants. And I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into repotting today because it's so, so different. I've said this a bunch of times, but I'm gonna say it again because I know that you guys don't necessarily watch every single video or listen to every single word that I say or remember everything that I say because that's like impossible. So, Anthurium are very different from Hoya. You know I love my Hoya. They're very, very different from Hoya in the sense that they love to be up potted. They have very, very robust roots, very prolific roots, which just means that they grow very fast. And they love to be up sized. My cat is just gonna be all up in everything too. I gave them food so that hopefully, <laughs> I've got a bunch of plants around me that we're gonna repot. Hopefully uh, they, hopefully they behave. <laughs> Bubba, is he chasing you girl? Bubba, leave her alone please. <laughs> I'm not sure why I thought this was a good idea. Go lay down. Go relax. You had food. <laughs> anyway, so I thought it would be fun to show you and explain to you all of the reasons why you should up pot your anthurium. There's a few different reasons why you're going to want to do this. One of the reasons is that the leaves are not getting any bigger. Another reason is that you got roots, girl, roots coming out the pot to the wall of the pot like and they're just crazy and it's very clear that it's time for an up pot or you might have a scenario where the pot is just too shallow and anthurium grow out of it and you need to put them in something a little bit deeper so i'm going to show you examples of all of the different instances that I've got going on here. And then another thing that you guys ask me a lot is whether or not you should wait for your new emergent leaves to harden off before you repot it. And the answer is yes, absolutely. Never touch those new leaves, just don't touch them. Just avoid going near them completely. So don't touch them. Again, just don't touch them, which means don't repot the plant, just leave the plant alone unless you like absolutely have to for some reason, but otherwise just don't touch it until that leaf is done hardening off because they're very, very delicate and they will get damaged very, very easily. So the best example that I can show you of the leaves are not upsizing anymore is probably this Anthurium Forgetii Luxurians. So you can see this leaf came out and then this one followed it. It's like maybe slightly bigger, but not really. And it's definitely in a smaller pot for the size of this plant. So I feel like this one is definitely ready to be up potted. I've had her for about a month now, maybe in my care. So she's had plenty of time to acclimate. She does have some roots not a ton of roots, but definitely some roots, so she's ready. So another example is going to be this NSE Port X RLFS that I've had here. My cat managed to get a little, little, little nibble in on these when I wasn't looking, not today, earlier. And as you can see, this is the newest leaf. 
these were the leaves before it so it's not really getting any bigger and it's starting to just kind of grow out of the pot so this is another example of the plant is just getting really tall and it's gonna need something a little bit deeper you could also just kind of wrap sphagnum moss around here that would be fine too but i like to put it in a deeper pot i have some deeper pots for my plants for sure so we're definitely gonna be repotting this one she's super duper overdue she's been in this moss perlite for like a whole entire year and there's tons of roots in here so those are good examples of the leaves are not sizing up that is one sign that you're going to want to up pot your anthurium and then of course you're going to have situations like this where it's just like painfully obvious that it's time to up pot i'm not even sure that i'm going to be able to like salvage Ooh, all of these roots um this is my crystallinum my og crystallinum she's freaking huge and she's like insanely overdue for a repot. So that's kind of a no brainer. Those are easy to discern. I also have this no ID. That's literally just all noodles. It just looks like a bowl of spaghetti. So this is one of my no IDs. It's probably a forgetty eye hybrid. And you've got stuff like this too. You see again, where it's just kind of sticking up there. I've got a bunch of those like that from Equigenera. They're just kind of like sticking up like that. So this one is the Monorense X Bessier from BRB. Um, and then this one was Anthurium Crystal Sky. I also have a No ID from Equigenera that needs to be repotted. So I'm gonna get through like as many as I can with you guys, but I did want to show you what it looks like when these plants are ready to be up potted. So let's get to repotting some of these. I might like speed it up a little bit for you guys and put some music and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more towards the end of this video, so. I'm gonna put you down and show you what I'm doing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna start with this NSE port. This one is from Rooted Rarities. I've had it for quite some time and this is definitely way too small of a pot for it. So the soil that I'm using, I'll link down below for you guys. It is the Fox Farm ocean forest and then I put in some extra coarse perlite I think number three and some orchid bark some like smaller pieces of orchid bark but I think it's like or orcadia orchid I don't know I'll put it on screen for you but I'm just gonna tickle tickle the roots here very gently and get as much of this off as I can I want to get as much of the moss off the roots as I can and I don't want to damage the roots so I'm being very, very gentle with how I'm just kind of rubbing and, and tickling, tickling, tickling the roots here. So I want to make sure that I have a good size pot for the root ball as well. I want the roots to have lots of room. So this one's actually kind of small, like the root ball fits in there perfectly, but I want it to have like way more space to grow than that. So the only other size that I have after that is this. Oh, well, that's kind of a little bit too big now. I mean, it's really not. Like it actually isn't, it's just gonna take up so much space. Like this is definitely too small, but this one's like kind of too big. If I just don't put the soil all the way to the top, I guess. That'll be fine. This thing is gonna get huge, like massively huge. All right, well, we're doing it. It's the only pot that I have. <laughs> And it is totally okay with these ones. They're not gonna get like 
overwhelmed. If anything, it's just, it's gonna get huge. It's gonna upsize so fast that I'm not gonna know what to do. That's a reason why you're gonna wanna definitely upsize up pot your anthurium. They will get huge. So obviously if you don't want them to get huge, then maybe don't up pot them so much. <laughs> but I want them to get huge, so it's not, oh shit, it's not really an option. It's not really a problem. So I have everything already pre-mixed in my bucket here. I don't know if you can tell, it's got perlite and bark in there. Don't want it to be too chunky because anthurium are a little bit on the thirstier side for sure, but chunky enough that the roots have a little bit of aeration in there. So this is actually not bad. I'm gonna remove some of these um, baby leaves off of the bottom because they're just gonna like rot under there anyway. Get rid of a couple of these small guys so that I can bury it just a little bit deeper and maybe we'll get some pups off of this. Maybe we'll get some offshoots from repotting her. Good. I don't like to fill it past the like the brim here it has like an edge I can't really tilt it or else everything's gonna spill out but here she is I'll show you guys at the end how everything looks she's in this giant pot now like massive and it's obnoxious but it just means that she's gonna end up being a giant plant very very soon So this is a very old plant. The stem goes all the way down to here. So you can see somebody already did this where they just kind of potted it deeper down in there. You can see how old this plant is. How thick, chonky that stem is. These roots are all coming from like right above it. So like I could cut it if I want to, but I'm just gonna leave it. We're starting to get there with this with this guy and this is definitely why you want to let the new emergence harden before you do this because I'm just like flopping these leaves around everywhere. I'm trying to be careful obviously I don't want to tear them but if they were new leaves they would be so delicate they would definitely get damaged in this process. Um, this one blooms for me pretty often so I'm hoping that a nice repot and some new soil and some space to grow is going to help her give me even more pollen and continue to grow and get huge. I'm ready for those like torso sized leaves. This one's already pretty big.
Okay, so what happened with this one was that this was actually growing off of an older stump. So this whole plant is a whole new growth point. I broke it off because it has its own roots and I might just toss this in something to see if anything will grow from it, but I don't think it really has any anywhere to grow from, to be honest with you, but you never know. So I will save it, but it is okay. This still has some really nice roots on it and they will probably take off now in a bigger pot with better soil for sure. Okay, fam, so those were my anthurium. I'm gonna show them to you again, one by one, all nice and up potted. I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. This thing is gonna get huge. Watch, <laughs> watch how big these leaves are gonna get now. So this is the NSE port crossed with PAP RLFS. Absolutely love this one. This was one of my first anthurium that I got like just period outside of some of the more like common usual stuff. This one is from Rooted Rarities and I'm very confident that it's going to get massive since we put it in this massive pot. So good thing about Anthurium is that you don't really need to stress about like over potting them, if that makes sense, like up potting them too much. You can put little itty bitty seedlings in a giant pot and they're gonna be totally fine. You guys have probably purchased them like that before. Little itty bitty seeds in a larger pot because they will grow into it very quickly and the more space that you give them, the more quickly they're gonna grow for you. So that's the first one we repotted. This crystallinum is also probably gonna get huge. It's already huge, massive, look at her. Gorgeous. This one is also from Rooted Rarities. I got a lot of my like original first anthurium from them for sure. So this is just a regular degular anthurium crystalline, but you just really can't go wrong. 
it's a classic so she's gonna be really happy with this up pot like really really happy and this is the oldest leaf she's a little bit beat up this was from the move still these are two newer leaves that she came out with and um hoping that we're gonna get an inflow on her very soon it looks like she might be working on something in here but it's hard to tell so crystallinum and then the next big one is also from <laughs> rooted rarities this is a um a forgetty a hybrid don't know what it is it's just a no id this is what happens when you underwater your anthurium this was the newest leaf but it came out wonky so it'll push out a new one it's already working on a new one and um it actually looks like it's in catafil <gasps> Ooh, this one's gonna bloom soon i don't know if you can tell on these older stems here you can see what looks like new growth is coming in but it's actually not new growth it is potentially maybe possibly working on some inflow so that's exciting because this is a really beautiful anthurium hybrid every other leaf has a fused sinus this one's split and this one is fused so very very fascinating this one came out looked like it was going to be fused as well so we'll see what she continues to look like as she grows those are the largest ones that I repotted today. All of them also just happen to be from Rooted Rarities. They are over on Palm Street. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. I also repotted this Monorense X Bessier. This one's from Bare Roots Botanicals. Super duper cute hybrid. Love that one. It's going to be happy in this pot. I'm going to water everything. This one's also from Bare Roots. Again, this is my Forgetty Eye Luxurians. And this one didn't have a ton of roots, but I wanted to up pot it in an effort to get these leaves to be larger faster. And that way it's in my soil mix and I know what to expect. But I absolutely love this one. Stunning Chef's Kiss. This is one of my favorite anthurium in my collection currently absolutely love her and then we have a few babes here from equigenera that i repotted this is the crystal sky this is a bessier crystallinum hybrid stay tuned i might have like a really giant haul coming and i might have gotten like a really big one of this plant because i love a bessier hybrid but i do have this itty bitty little baby i think she's super duper cute love the leaves on her she's got a little bit of crusty on one of her older leaves from shipping and then this is a no id again from equigenera this one definitely has like some sort of crystallinum or magnificum in it i like how narrow and long the leaves are this is the newest one this one got crispy crunchy from acclimating totally normal they might get a little weird from being up potted too i don't usually have a problem with that but it is definitely something that can happen um something might get a little bit crispy old leaves might get a little bit crispy after being repotted because it just takes a little bit of time to acclimate to the new soil definitely watched me struggle to get all of the moss off of the roots on some of those larger ones so I definitely really encourage you guys to not allow your plants to get that out of hand. Don't let them get so root bound and so rooted like that, that it's really hard to get them out of the pot and to get them out of the moss. It just makes life a lot more complicated. And then I didn't do this one on camera, but this one's also from Equigenera and needed to be repotted. I got all, all of these in the same batch. If you guys remember that on pot, on potting, if you guys remember that unboxing video, this is the Warocleanum Esmeralda. So I'll have to make tags for these because they said the names on the pot, but I like this one. I think it's really cute. And it is working on a new leaf, which I didn't notice, but I, it turned out fine. I didn't damage it or anything. I do recommend waiting for new leaves to harden off. I just actually didn't notice that there was a new one and um, it ended up being fine though. She's fine. So like you, you can. It's not like your plant is gonna die if you repot it while there's an emergent leaf coming out. I just don't want you to damage it. Like 
you saw me struggling with that crystalline hem. If that had a new leaf on it, I definitely would have damaged it. This one's much smaller. So if it's a smaller plant, obviously it's not going to be as much of a problem. So. We repotted eight anthurium together today, you guys. I would love to know in the comments below which one is your favorite out of the ones that I repotted today. I think mine is probably this one. But I hope that you also learned something today about anthurium. Do not worry about their roots. They are not delicate whatsoever. So I 10 out of 10 recommend that you guys go and up pot all of your anthurium before the winter and they're going to get huge for you. So I'm hoping to get, like I said, more inflows on these plants so that I can breed them for you guys. I love, love, love making anthurium babies and I cannot wait to continue to make more. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be a part of the official plant fam. I have some more members only videos coming for you guys. I'm just like super behind on editing them. Just like fun, more personal stuff that I don't share on the main channel here. So if you're looking for more behind the scenes of just like my life, more vloggy stuff, that is definitely a great way to support my channel and also get a little bit of extra from me. So I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Go water your plants too. If you're anything like me, you've been waiting too long to water your plants. And I hope that you guys are just so good out there. So good. And let me know if you have any other questions about Anthurium. I would love to continue to do more videos about specific things about Anthurium care. I have a playlist that this is going to go on called Anthurium care. So if you want to go and check that out, definitely feel free to do that. So I'm going to go for real this time. I love you guys and I hope I see you in the next one.